Always smash your guard. <laughs> that is so the intro to this now. <laughs> hey guys, me, OC was all. Thank you very much for tuning in. And today it's another it's another episode of the Marvel Action Hour. And I'm here as always with David Displays Model Behavior. Hello, everyone. And Brian's Action Figures Reviews. Hi guys, how are you? <laughs> so gents, it's been a little hiatus. Obviously, my room, I know they caved in and fell through the floor at one point. So uh, it had to be done. But we've had a little hiatus and now we're back. So we've got plenty to talk about on One Division. Boy, howdy, have we ever. But before yeah. we get to One Division, I thought we'd have a quick chat about the Marvel Legends release for the Super Villains lineup and see your thoughts on that, because that's come out since we've been sort of on hiatus. And uh, obviously, we need to discuss about the Hasbro Hasbro Pulse coming to UK and Europe. Yes. Uh, Ash, help me out. What does this mean? Because I have no idea what Hasbro Pulse coming to Europe means. What's going so, on? Hasbro Pulse in America, uh, basically it's a way of ordering all your Hasbro products through Hasbro Direct rather than going through a, a third party retail. Like, like we would use comics and cocktails. So instead of using them off Bidden Planet, we'd just order through Hasbro Direct. Which in, in theory sounds amazing and sounds brilliant, but we forget that Hasbro doesn't allocate very much for our, our country in general. Yeah, so I feel that really that shouldn't really change anything because I've never in my life had a problem getting new release figures. Like they they get announced, they go up for pre-order, I pre-order them and I get them. Yeah, (laughs) because if you've ever noticed on the back of some of your figures, you'll find a little Chinese sticker because some of the stock we get in the UK either come from China, America or Europe. We get one of three stocks. If we order through Hasbro, I've got a feeling that they will only use the UK stock. We'll have to wait months on end to get everything. Right now, some people have been very lucky to get um, Starfire from Comics and Cocktails. She's not even due out till March, but they've got a, a US release, which Comics and Cocktails have absorbed. I mean, Comics and Cocktails absorb that cost as well. They don't charge that to the customer. They just buy the mm. import stock and give it to the people that have ordered first, which is very cool. Uh, I, I, was about, I was about to, to complain that I've ordered mine from Comics and Cocktails and I haven't got her yet, but I guess I didn't order her quickly enough because I did hold off on her at first, but then I realized... Come on, Dave. As soon as people start posting their son, <laughs> yeah, you're going to want it. You're going to want her. So yeah, I finally bit the bullet, but I was late to the party with that. I love winding them up at Comics and Cocktails. If Dan Who gets anything before me, I, I, I email them instantly like, what are you playing at? How dare you two sides? Do you have any idea who I think I am? <laughs> 30,000 subscribers! <laughs> I'm the UK Shatimus Prime! <laughs> <laughs> pay for my holidays anyway that's a different story but <laughs> <laughs> inside joke there <laughs> but um yeah other than that so i mean hasbro coming to the uk is a good thing and a bad thing i've got a feeling it will absolutely destroy our good retailers like comics and cocktails id mm. toys because I, I think people will want to use the new hasbro thing and if it works, if it if it works, then that could really just hurt, hurt their businesses, really. Well, like talking to some of the guys over in America who use it, mm. they often they often say like, and as well, there's a subscription fee to get stuff first. Yeah, a yearly subscription fee as well. Add to that, but some of the guys in the US reckon like that when they order stuff from Hasbro Pulse, it's usually the last to ship stuff out. So <laughs> they will actually they will actually see stuff in brick and mortar shops before they will actually they end up buying them in the shops and then cancelling their Hasbro Pulse order. God. Thus defeating the purpose of Hasbro Pulse in the first yeah. place. Yeah, I honestly, I fear change. So, <laughs> as, you know, unless unless people start posting their new release figures that they've got first because they were with Hasbro Pulse, I'm not going to change. I, you know, comics and cocktails, yeah, sometimes there's nothing more frustrating than seeing people posting pictures of their new figures and you're like, Come on. But I don't think I've had that as a bad experience any more than you would anywhere else. I mean, last year, the Age of Apocalypse wave was the big frustrating one where everyone was posing their figures. I'm like, come on. But that was right at the slap bang start of COVID as well. So you could allow for that. Until I have any reason to, I'm not going to be leaving comics and cocktails. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see. But at the moment, I'm like, I'm not going to get too excited about this. 
Yeah, I'm with you guys. I'm, mm. I'm, I'm the same on the same mind of um, I'm not going to bother with them to begin with. I'm going to see how it works out and pans out for people. Um, I've built up, it's been five, what, five years of collecting now doing this on YouTube and stuff. And I've built up really good relationships with some of these retailers. And I don't want that to, you know, I don't want to move away from them yeah. that quick and just ditch them at the first time, the first chance we get. I want to stick by them and just say, right, I'll, I'll still order from you guys. I don't want to go through Hasbro. I'll go through you like I always have done and just see how it works out. Like, yeah, uh, absolutely. Although, yeah, I'll, I'll be the first to admit that, you know, if if people do start getting their, <laughs> their figures super early, I will be a fickle pickle and I will jump because <laughs> because quite frankly, this is called show business, not show <laughs> friendship. All right. <laughs> as somebody who's worked with Hasbro UK and this, I, I hope they're not listening to this. As someone who's listening, uh, who works with Hasbro UK on a regular basis, they awesome. never, they, they, they message me and say, how did you get that so early? And that's from Comics and Cocktails three months down the line after the Americans have got it. And the UK still haven't got it. It's like, they message me say, where did you get that from? It's like, I am not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't go well, and, to be fair. So it's like, I'm not, I'm not holding out. I'm, I'm not going to hold my breath for him. I'm not, <laughs> as much as I love Hasbro. I, oh. Okay, I well, that remains, that, rem that remains to be seen then. Watch this space. We'll see mm -hmm. what happens. But other than that, guys, I really wanted to see what your thoughts were on that super villains line that's coming. From Marvel Legends, you know the. Uh... Brian, what do you make of it, Brian? I absolutely love it, but the execution of some of them isn't the best, from what I can see. Um, I... Especially um, the hood. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for you to say that. I was like, I don't know which one you could possibly be talking about. <laughs> Even angry, angry Marvel Legends collector, they called him. I think. <laughs> Even Dormammu. I mean, come on, that head, that the, the flames needed to be a different color from the head. It just Ooh. looks all mashed. How did that make it past the prototype stage? If I if if, if I was the toy maker, if I if I was the person in charge of, of making that, I would have been so embarrassed to have shown everyone because I would have been like, oh my god, they are gonna draw me over the coals when they see this. I can't believe I forgot to make the face a different color. <laughs> like if because I because I can be a real dick sometimes, I would have been the first person to have seen that and gone. Oh, you strawb! How did you do them both the same color? <laughs> you muppet! Whereas, like, somehow no one in Hasbro said that. They were all like, this is fine. This is fine. I love that on the same day that these figures got announced, DC announced that they're no longer putting realistic weaponry with their toys. Oh, is so, that right? I yeah, yeah, that. yeah. So they put that out, and then all of a sudden Marvel went, hey, look, it, here's a Doctor Doom with an actual skull and spine! <laughs> <laughs> It can't be used as a weapon because it's already been... <laughs> it's just the way they did it. It's just so funny. It's like, oh, my God. But that's, yeah. that's bonkers, though. I hadn't, I hadn't heard that about, about DC. And, and I know we, we won't get draw, dragged down in, into the weeds with that. But that's interesting. I didn't know that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for me, that, that wave is decent. I like it because if we, if we're finally getting a Lady Death Strike. Arcade. Mm. I like Arcade. He looks good. Mm. And we're finally getting classic Red Skull, which I'm happy about. Because so far, every Red Skull we've had has been in sort of MCU style. Yeah, yeah. I'm no, happy I, I think the classic green. The wave, the wave looks beautiful. It's just such a shame. I feel just, just my opinion mm. that it is the perfect example of great wave, disappointing bath. Because yeah. it's just when it's Wendigo with another head. They've rebadged it, you fool. That's <laughs> they all literally it is. have. It's literally they've just cut down the shoulder pieces a tiny bit and give it in a new head. Oh, <laughs> Wendigo. I could build that now. <laughs> yeah, it feels so lazy. And I, I, I swear, like this it can't be a coincidence. Hasbro can't play dumb. They must be able to admit that, like, you know, look, we know this is a strong way. <laughs> we know people are gonna buy every figure anyway. Yeah. So why waste money on a good bath that's gonna entice people? when we know that people are going to buy the whole set regardless. It's not like we're throwing in some Gamerverse figures. It's not like we have to force people to buy them. So we might as well just reuse a bath and make it make life easy. And you know what? Just that's what they've done. And you know what? I'm going to buy them. Mm. Yeah. I just thought it would have been an opportunity for them to maybe uh, repackage an older bath from an older wave and put that back in something. That, you know, Especially with it being villain. They could have gone with Onslaught, which hasn't been around for a long time now. And he's so expensive to find online. 
but they can sell that back to us as a deluxe figure down the yeah, line. Oh yeah, they, they can do that. <laughs> I would, I would like to see a third crack at onslaught because I feel they, I, we, we still want, I still want a bigger onslaught yeah. that you know time time will tell because also I, I torched myself too much by looking at customs online and being like <laughs> oh my god that person did an amazing job but we'll see we'll see but either way it's just lucky for me that I did read the Zemnu story in Immortal Hulk from about a year ago and that was an amazing story so I was like okay okay I like I like what they did but I know that I will just eventually get him put him on the shelf and he will never up. touch him again <laughs> So yeah, that yeah. was uh, yeah. So the, we had that bit of news, and there's, I don't think there's really been much else. Uh, are you guys aware of anything else that's kind of sneaked out? I think um, that, did we cover Hasbro doing like that Fortnite Snake Eyes? Oh well? yeah, yeah, yeah. So Fortnite, uh, so Fortnite and Hasbro have now joined forces. Yeah, um, they now doing regular on, Fortnite too. Yeah, they've taken over the contract from Jazzwares, so <laughs> they've got the six inch line now. So let's see what that does. Well, it's a good thing and a bad thing, I think. Well, good thing, because Hasbro also have Star Wars and Marvel, and they do a lot of that in Fortnite. Could mm. they have give us cross figures like they do in the game? Fortnite X Marvel or something like that? Is that an excuse yeah. for them to give us a Fortnite Marvel Legends wave? <laughs> oh, God, no, Captain... no more additional waves. You know they will, no, though. no more additional waves. You know they if they can sell us a, if they can sell us a Wolverine and Iron Man and a Captain America, they will do it. Cartoon style, yeah. <laughs> that true. Well, that, that that will be an easy pass for me until, of course, it's part of a path that I have to buy, and then I'll be back <laughs> buying that, and the, the the cosmic ballet goes on. For, Fortnite wave with an onslaught, build a figure. There you go. <laughs> Sold. But yeah, their first figure is the Snake Eyes, isn't it? The redoing Snake Eyes. Mm. Um, surprise, surprise. That'll sell a fair few million. <laughs> Yeah, he's the franchise. He's the he's the Wolverine. Yeah, <laughs> but um, I, I'm bored of GI Joe already with them figures, but I'm already out. The, <laughs> the release, the, they're too far apart. The release dates, I got mm. bored. That's it. We need we need constant stimulation. We need new things. That's what Marvel Legends gets right. It's it does, never, yeah, more, yeah. never never more than a month before before they're like, here, here's a new thing to get excited about. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So all my Fortnite figures ended up becoming fodder for my Predator figures, and they're now all strung up and hung upside down and things like that. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. nice. <laughs> you're, you're, you won't see that in Fortnite. <laughs> you won't buy them. <laughs> so the main sort of reason we're here would, would, would be WandaVision. Absolutely. Ooh, we've got a fair few episodes to have a chat about as well, because we've been a little while, hasn't it? I think we last spoke was episode five. It has. Oh. We've fallen behind. We've got oh. a lot to catch up on. And... Obviously, last week's episode. Well, this week, last week's episode. Oh my god, ended on an amazing note. Yes, yes. Just they're, finally they're got really, her name. I, I, I think we kind of, we kind of needed. Uh, we, we, we needed that. We needed that that nice name reveal, and also Ooh. we needed, of course, on we'll talk about it, the white vision, the new yeah. uh, vision, because. That episode, it was good. It was well made, but it was kind of recap. It's like we know. Mm. Everything it showed us, it was cool to see it, but we, we know, we know about the bomb. We know about her family. We know about mm -hmm. all of that. So it was just us seeing it. So I felt like it didn't bring anything new to the table. It was just interesting to watch, but mm -hmm. then getting getting the vision at the end, that made the episode more worthwhile to me. Mm -hmm. It was like um, an origin story of Scarlet Witch, basically. Mm -hmm. if, some, yeah. if someone hadn't yeah. seen the previous movies and stuff. Actually, and being the being the height of professionalism, I've got to go and go and grab my plug to plug my laptop in. You guys keep talking. I'm going to be right back. <laughs> so yeah, the um, that reveal at the end with Vision, I thought that was brilliant with the white. Yeah, it looked class, and it cut off just at the right time. Mm -hmm. And we're like, oh no! <laughs> Do you think he's going to come back online as Ultron? I think like. Skipping your question, sort of, but I think the two visions will combine eventually. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what he's going to say if he, if he starts talking and it's James Spader. I lose my shit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Imagine if he spoke with James Spader voice. That would be kind of cool. That would be class. That would be very cool. Um, yeah, yeah I, 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 I kind of see your idea of them sort of merging the two. So you've got the physical body that they've made, but mm. his mind and his essence is what Wanda is able to transfer and instill into that body. Mm -hmm. 
putting Wanda's vision inside the vision, basically. <laughs> yeah, oh, it, it, exactly. Yeah, so it, it's li literally Wanda's vision. And I think that's that's going to be a nice way of, of culminating everything because I was worried that the show was going to end with Vision ultimately you know, dying, being put, you know, back to rest because he couldn't leave her, her void or whatever. But now they've actually given us that out. So we can still have vision. We will have another, you know, vision existing in the Marvel Universe, which I'm so down for because I've always loved that character. So I'm really excited by seeing what they do with this. I would like them to drag it out a little bit more, though. I think it would Ooh. be too easy to do it in one <clears throat> episode and just bring him back online and it'd be all, oh, happy, but he's back. After the sacrifice <laughs> he did, and it would it would cheapen it for me. I want them to drag that out into Doctor Strange. That that should be the big cliffhanger. But That's I wonder, like, I wonder, like, when she's doing that, when she's trying to put him back in the other vision, mm. is that where her power overloads and explodes the multiverse? Mm. That could be very cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, speaking of multiverse, that that's mm. one thing that I think they've kind of they've tried to be very clear in putting to bed that you know this quicksilver is not the x men quicksilver Ooh. it's it's just a bit of a wink and a nod sort of casting there, there, there there's no multiverse x men fox universe i plucked him from this thing it's like no 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 this is just a fake quicksilver to be replaced <laughs> it's it's Fiet not Fietro. it's not the one that we're used to <laughs> they kind of I, I they love, kind of I, the door on that I loved how she said, I would have got to real brother, but he's another content and not full of holes. <laughs> it was just horrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really hope that we do get more of Agatha Harkness. I hope they don't write her out at the end of this season because she's a great character. I love the actor who mm. plays her. She's, wow. she's sassy and fun. I mean, to be honest, that's kind of something that people complain about with Marvel, but I really, really like that every, everyone is sassy. <laughs> everyone has a one-liner. Uh, but you know, I I really like that with with her. I love how gleefully evil she is. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully we'll get more of her. Well, I think we will because Fantastic Four has obviously been announced, hasn't it? Now that's that is coming. Mm. And Agatha Harkness was the nanny of Franklin Richards. Inter interesting, because be me being as as lazy as I am, I didn't actually even look at any of the YouTube videos that explain who she is. I was just like, oh, okay, she's she's a witch. I'll I'll mm. I'll, I'll take it. Um, but yeah, so I so she was tied in with the Fantastic Four as well. That's interesting. I, I I'm, I'm guessing like, is, is she being is she more heroic in the comics? So is she more like sort of a neutral kind of? She's no, she's not. I think she's more like she's more of a mentor to yeah, Wanda, isn't she? Yeah, I think that'll come about in this as well. I don't think she, I know she, I know she killed the dog, but I don't think she's fully evil in this either. Yeah. Also, I mean, anything, <clears throat> anything that happens in the hex, ah, that doesn't really count. <laughs> the, 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 the hex is like Vegas, you know? Yeah. Because <laughs> she also helped the Fantastic Four in the battle against um, Annihilus as well, didn't she? And things like that. She's got quite a big, she's quite in with the Fantastic Four, is, is this character. But she's also in with sort of Wanda and Vision and their story. Yeah. And she has had runnings with Hawkeye and she has had runnings with Spider-Man. So they're all the projects that are coming up. There's a lot Ooh. tied in there. Yeah, yeah. If, so if Marvel have played it right, up. sorry, if Marvel have played it right, they could have literally weaved her through all the all these new little television series. She could be the one folk like character that is in them all. That Slowly can, that behind the scenes, happily, pulling the strings. I would happily see more of her because, yeah, she's she's a lot of fun, and we've only had this, you know, the revealed version of her for about one episode now. So yeah. I'd love to see more of this, where they can, can go with it. And there's more rumors that there could still be like one more big reveal, like there's someone else kind of pulling strings and whatnot. We don't know, but I, if they if they just if they didn't do that, if they just had her as the overall you know, villain or antagonist for the piece, I, I'd be happy with that. What do you guys mm. think? you think that there's any more reveals or you think yes. they're done? No, there's nah. a, there's, it's coming. It's <laughs> building up. It's got to. <clears throat> there's no way that she is just there, happens to be there and is involved in all this. There's, there's, some, there's another being that's bigger than she is pulling her strings, basically. I, I'm still going on the old uh, Mephisto. I'm still sticking with Mephisto being the overall art villain that then Doctor Strange will have to fight as well. Yeah, well, Ash, that's exactly what Mephisto would say. So, <laughs> <laughs> did you notice though that in the it, uh, because 
I didn't find this out, by the way. I watched the YouTube video. But um, in Doctor Strange, there was a book missing in the... Yeah, uh, I saw that too, yeah. Yeah, and then in one division the other week, the book was in her little dungeon thing. Shut up. That so actual... That is, yeah, so, so that is so a what, callback so to they, they, they planted They planted that seed from the Doctor Strange movie. Yeah, yeah you know, the books with all the chains on, the forbidden book. Yeah. She's got yeah. one of them in her <clears> lot, and it's not got the chains on anymore. Oh, that is bonkers. I love it. I Again... This is why Marvel deserve to do well. This is why Disney deserve to get my five pounds a month because mm-hmm. my goodness, I mean, especially, oh, 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 my dear Lordy Lord. I, I saw a, a new exclusive clip from the Justice League movie, the Zack Snyder cut. Now I was like, oh geez, they still, they still, it looks terrible. So I'm like, <laughs> thank, thank you, Marvel. Thank you for getting it right. Yeah. It's, it's just amazing. We, I would love to have a, a, a Justice League autopsy uh, video, but we'll, we'll save that conversation for another time. <laughs> but yeah, Marvel are just killing it. They're so good. Yeah, it's just all the little, the little things make big things even better. Mm. And that's a marvelous, so, so, so good effect. Mm. Whereas, whereas um, uh, DC, with their movies, seem to go, well, if the little things make the big things good, what if we do all big things? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, if the little things are good, then surely the bigger things are even better. Like, their foundations are built in quicksand, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, so so you know, one division is 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 bearing really well for the rest of the of the TV output. Uh, I'm, I'm just I'm interested to see you know if we get more of the sort of B list characters from the movies because I love that they brought back Darcy. I love that they brought back Jim, Jimmy Woo. Do you think we'll see more of more of Jimmy Woo because he could be? Yeah. I can see those two actually being like a Mulder and Scully type <laughs> couple that go through the different series. I'd love to see that. Yeah, I've got a feeling they'll yeah. definitely be back at some in some form <clears> or another. <throat> Especially with us going into like the multiverse and like basically now I think she, you know, Dar- Darcy's kind of the in the forefront of that now, isn't she? She kind of <coughs> is the expert on it now because of One Division. Mm. She's had first hand dealings with it, so surely Shield or somebody's going to hire her to like look at that further. Yeah, yeah, I I, I would love to see those as as reoccurring uh, characters. Because I think they they kind of sort of slightly tried to do that in in Age of Ultron with with the Shield people from the Shield TV show, and then they quickly realised ah no, just, no no one watches this, so I'm glad that they kind of dropped <laughs> dropped that and and those characters terrible English <coughs> accents as well. So to to have to have these kind of characters that people do really resonate with, I think would be terrific. And also speaking of multiverses and things and upcoming projects, the the Loki show. Do you think that's happening in the regular MCU, or do you think the Loki show is kind of taking part taking place in that alternate timeline we saw in Avengers Endgame, where you know well, he got the and disappeared or what? Technically, the alternate timeline is just another section of the multiverse. Technically, isn't it? If you think about yeah. it, yeah, yeah. So it's, <clears throat> yeah, I think it's happening in that timeline i would have thought but i've got a feeling he'll do things that will affect things across the multiverse it's got there's got to be a reason for making a television series it's got to tie yeah, because, somewhere to something the guy that the guy that owen wilson is playing is like a multiverse cop or something didn't he like that mm. so he, owen, he's arrested owen wilson's in it yeah <laughs> wow yeah, yeah. <laughs> i was waiting for That's a lot of that <laughs> But like stuff he Loki does obviously alerts them to the multiverse messing about. Like, and I assume it'll affect all of us. I, I can imagine Owen, Owen Wilson as the multiverse cop, kind of, kind of like Thomas Jane as the vegan police in Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, I'm 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 down yeah. like a clown for that. But um. Spinning out of uh, of one division, we're going to be rolling straight into Winter Soldier and Captain America, aren't we? All Captain uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. That's the next one coming up. Mm. Yep. Week week after, I think. I think they're doing uh, making of one division the following Friday, and then onto Winter Soldier and Cap. As far as I know, that's that's fantastic. So we've had a couple of trailers for that uh, drop, and I, I'm trying to think off the top top of off my head what what characters besides the two leads have appeared in those trailers. We've we, we 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 got we got a glimpse of U.S. Agent. We saw like the back of his head, maybe. Sharon Carter as well, and you Zemo, mm-hmm. and that girl they're calling Flag, Flag Smasher. Is it? 
Oh, is, is that the one with the with the skull mask? Yeah, is that, yeah. Is, is that Red Skull? Is that meant to be Red Skull's granddaughter? Or a lot of people said that, but I th- I think in the comics there's um there's a like a group called the Flag Smashers, but I think they've retconned her into one person and this or something. Okay, well, I mean, that kind of works. Mm. I mean, there, there's always. I mean, do, do you think we might even see the Red Skull in this? Because there's no read like he's kind of been released from his from his duties of guarding the stone. So I, I imagine that he could he could well reappear now. That would be cool if they could bring him back. Like, yeah, because the dude who was playing him, like, who's not Hugo Weaving, like, he's he's great. Like, he's perfectly fine. You know, you don't. Yeah, you don't. You don't need the original actor. Just a just a, a no. decent actor in some makeup is going to be absolutely fine. So I would love to see the red skulls because I think the I think the visual is just really cool. Skulls are awesome, even if they're <laughs> badass. Um. Yeah, I think they could. They could do it. There could be a way of doing it to do with the multiverse and things like that, couldn't they? Because there's obviously going to be to bring back the original one would be a bit much. Because he's the what he's been through, but maybe there's going to be a different Red Skull in a different multiverse that could easily pull into our multiverse. That is now the thing that they can do. But I will I will say as well though that this was originally supposed to come out before One Division, so ah. all this all this stuff wouldn't have happened yet in this show. Is that right? I didn't realize. Mm. So what it was it was mixed up. So so this would this uh, chronologically is is before One Division. Yeah, because uh, they had to stop filming because of the COVID. So they had one division in the right. can already. So, okay, that's that's interesting. And also, the, another thing is, do you think we'll see old cat? Yes, <laughs> I'm just going to throw it, maybe. I've got a feeling he I'd might like make a big reveal at the end or something. They might do something at the end to do something like with him. But uh, Chris Evans, do you think he'd come back just for a small cameo on television? Big I'm, I'm sure he'd be he'd be willing to, or, or more to the point, I'm sure that Dis- Disney either A, have a dump truck full of money to pull up to his <laughs> house, or B, more likely, they contractually own his soul. So, <laughs> because the whole point I, of him... I imagine all... that choice, choice might be taken out of the equation. Because the whole point of him, he retired from the role because he wanted to do things behind the camera, he said. Well, so hey, doing, I mean, direct, directing an episode of a Marvel show, that's a perfect transition. And he's also going to be um, Buzz Lightyear, isn't he, in the, in the new spin-off Buzz Lightyear movie? Chris Wait, Evans is, that, is Captain America thing? Buzz Lightyear. Oh, yeah, have you not seen that? I've, that, I've, not that yet. So is it a live action? No, no, no. It's, cart- oh. it's, it's Pixar cartoonish again, but it's, oh, yeah, it's, meant yeah. to be the, it's meant to be the film that Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story is based upon, and Chris Evans is the action hero playing Buzz Lightyear. That's but interesting. It, it just looks like Captain America in a buzz skin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's all I hear when he talks. Oh, yeah. oh uh, okay. So, so, um, so, is this an animated film though? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Pixar animated yeah, it's movie like that's coming CG out. CG animal. Yeah. yeah, CG. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. I was wondering if it was going to be like like a like a grim a grim and gritty. <laughs> <laughs> video version. That's what I was picturing too. <laughs> because, yeah, that's what I was saying. Agree. The thing was that I think that was the end of Chris Evans's contract with Disney to do that movie. Yeah. So I'm not sure if he has. I'm not sure if he's under contract to appear in anything. Is what I'm trying to say, without yeah. sounding like the you know the person that's going to put the cork in it. But you know, like I don't think he could be in this because he's not under contract, or the uh, very damn secret if he is. Uh, yeah, D- Disney is like the KGB. No one ever, <laughs> no one ever leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Except my like, I so I, I serve I serve my time working working for that company. You, you never truly get out. <laughs> <laughs> even I'm even Robert Downey Jr. said never. Like say never. <laughs> <laughs> well, Robert Downey Jr. is going to be in the next Spider Man again. He's in it again. He's still kicking about. Is Robert Downey Jr. Again, you're, you're always that's why I love I love doing doing these uh, these Zoom meetings because you know, I always learn new stuff that I might, I have no idea about. So <laughs> he's he's making an appearance in that. I believe it's going to be his like. A, like, like an AI version of him or something helping Spider-Man build suits and things like yeah. that. I believe that's what it is. They're saying it's not, they've already said in the press releases it's not Iron Man. It's Robert Downey Jr. doing something to, to do with Iron Man. They're not, they're not saying if it's a flashback or, flash, or anything. They've just said it's he's in it. Yeah. So, well, I mean, if we, if we do get like a hologram Tony, then that will kind of 
justify the uh, worthless the hologram Iron Man figure that we're getting uh, <laughs> coming up pretty soon. With that blue face. Oh, God. With the, with, with the blue face. And, and hey, look, like, I, I know there is always something for someone. So I'm not going to, uh, you know, knock it too much. But it was funny when, when, when we got all of the Hasbro announcements like, about a week ago, the very first images I saw, the first two images I saw were Hollow Tony and the Civil Warrior. And I was like, oh, <laughs> no, these are going to be I'm some terrible announcements. Challenge accepted. I'm pretty sure I can build that Tony Stark right now. Hang on. Do it, because I know <laughs> what you're going to do, and I want to see it. <laughs> now I hope Hasbro are watching. <laughs> but that, that's, the, that's the thing. Like, it is such a kit bash. It's such a kit bash. It's like, come yeah. on, guys. I hope they at least give, like, some good... Well, because they say some, some good accessories, but I don't even know... You couldn't really do like it's not going to have any blast accessories or anything because he's no, just it's a literally a kind of version in an Iron Man suit. So I, I I feel like I really hope my my biggest hope is that this is a single carded release like I like um yeah, yeah, like a... America or something something like that. So I'm not obliged to get it if it's something part of the Iron easy. Man wave. <laughs> if it's part of the Iron Man wave, I'll be like ah son of a biscuit. Uh, maybe I'm bad. <laughs> but that's the thing if um. But even the Iron Man wave, do you know, Brian, if the Iron Man wave is a build a figure traditional wave or if it's like the Spider Man retro wave? Do we have any idea? I, they haven't said yet, so I'm not sure. I would love to get some okay, classic if, Iron if, Man if it's a build a figure wave. If it's a build a figure wave, then I'm getting everything, you know. But if it's just like, like, like the retro wave, then I could probably afford to pass on a few of those. Like I see they're doing like a stealth Iron Man, don't need that. Hollow Tony. No, <laughs> thank you, bye. But if it's like, you know, get all, all of these figures and you can build like an iron monger or something, then it's like, well, you got me, Hasbro, you little devils. A big you titanium, man. <laughs> yeah, but well, again, I'm, because I'm not overly familiar with a lot of Iron Man's robes and stuff, I don't know who would be a decent builder figure for Iron Man. I just said iron monger because that was literally the only thing I could think of. I know we've already- Titanium man, it. maybe. That's true because we're getting the select titanium man, but that mm. is a, a different beast entirely. And um, so let the select Titanium Man does look pretty good. And there he is. Um, <laughs> Mysterio with, head. With helmet. <laughs> there you go. Is it, I, I, could, I couldn't see from the small screen. Is that the Octopus Mysterio or the... No, the new one, because it's, it's just a solid blue head. It is literally just a solid blue head. So you can exactly. shove that on your Iron Man. There you go. Bob's your uncle, Iron Man. <laughs> I've built oh, it for them, Hasbro. Robert Shimava's brother. You're done. Sorted. Whack it in the <laughs> oven. Ten minutes. Bosh. <laughs> it's fast boss, mate. That guy. Jobs, jobs are good. <laughs> they, yeah, they didn't show that bit on that on that Marvel Legends uh, documentary, did they? The, the the bit where the guy goes, well, if we just take this head and this body, that's a whole new figure. I I, I wish. I mean, like, I do. We I got do a raise. Enjoy, I do enjoy the Hasbro Pulse live streams and stuff. Like, it is fun to see those reveals and stuff. But I I just know that that those guys are sat there in their ivory tower without anyone to actually call them on anything while they're announcing <laughs> things. And like, you know, I I just wish that there was just just one guy from the community. I will humbly volunteer if need be <laughs> to be in on that live stream and have them make their big grandiose announcement and go. Hang on, lads. <laughs> Are you being serious? And again, it was the, the same with like, you know, oh, yes, and ha-ha, jokey joke. This is our angry Marvel Legends collector. I'll be like, yes, and you know what? There's another one right here because you're giving us the same stuff again. <laughs> but so, so, so come, on, come on, Hasbro, you cowards. Put me on your live stream. They, they don't like me on, on Instagram. I'm, I think I'm block, uh, blocked by one of them now. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> I, thought, I don't know his name. The, the the young lad always gets really excited and he's always got X-Men behind him. Oh, Ryan Ting. I have right, no yeah. idea. So basically, when, when they announced the new Spider-Ham and I just I just lost it, I was like, you know the Toy Box version is like five times better than your Marvel Legends version and it's half the price. <laughs> and, then, and I just banged on about it for so long that I'm pretty sure he's blocked me at this point. <laughs> Also, um, go, going going back, we we kind of skimmed over the uh, figures because uh, we're kind of circling circling around <laughs> talking about, about the, those figures. Uh, is your problem with with the hood the same as everyone's? That the hood just doesn't look like the right? hood. Yeah. Oh, it looks it's awful. Really high as well. It's oh, it's terrible. Yeah, like I I, I don't mind it because like one thing I kind of like is it, it, it is that you know his, his face his face does look kind of like unattractive but it's like you know not everyone is beautiful you know it's like I, I like the fact that they, they have like a different looking person also he's a bad guy but yeah you're absolutely right brian the hood just is sitting 
on top. It's like it's floating over his head. Yeah, it, like, looks, it, just, it looks off weird. It looks really, it looks bad. I'm really hoping that maybe when I get him in hand, if I dip the hood in like some boiling water, I can kind of smoosh it, smoosh it more down to co contour to his to his body more. But yeah, at the moment, that was that was the figure I was like in theory looking forward to the most. Yeah, same. Now I'm like, oh, that's a real shame, man. That's a real shame. And they did they did him like years ago. Did a pro prototype of him at one of the toy fairs. And it looked fantastic. I saw that picture too. I saw that Toy Fair picture and I was like, oh man, that looks so cool. And I kind of played myself because I saw that Toy Fair picture and I was like, <laughs> oh, is this the actual figure? Oh, have they have they redone it? Have they rejigged it? And it's like, because like, I thought like, oh, maybe this is a rogue's face situation mm. where it's like the, 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 the photos look really bad and in hand it's like, ah, oh, it's not so bad. But no, you're right. It was a prototype. And I was like, you made it. You made it. It's right there. Just give us that one. <laughs> just, just do it again. Yeah. <laughs> it's like they keep, uh, they keep complaining about how expensive and difficult it is to make new sculpts. And it's like, you got one! You've got it's, one it's, right there! It's literally like the Stan Lee body with a new head and a, a hood accessory. <laughs> yeah, it is. Sorry, yeah. Dude, I've never put that together before. That like, literally is. <laughs> And the, and the fact that 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 you, you know the hood the hood and and the hood is all one piece, so you can't. <laughs> He, he's, he's got the Michael Keaton Batman thing where it's like, you know, he could defend himself as long as you're not attacking directly from the sides, <laughs> in which case he's got blinkers on because he can't look. And especially like, having just released a Moon Knight figure with a separate headpiece and a separate cape, which works perfectly. And then it's like, guys, <laughs> like, you know, you can do it because you just did yeah. it. So why are you doing it like this? Same with Cloak and Dagger. Cloak, Cloak's got a separate cape and a separate hood because it doesn't work when it's all one thing. What I found hilarious as well is they're like, oh, look, we made a new body for Red Skull. And here it is again on Dormammu. <laughs> We've <laughs> already reused it in the same way. <laughs> I didn't I didn't realize that was the same body. It's so exactly Dor same. Dor Dormammu is in his pajamas as well. That's a... <laughs> That's a that, that that's a shame. Again, like there's, despite all the griping, it does look like a really fun wave. I'm really looking forward to it. But yeah, it's just it's just a, a, a shame. And the only reason you set your expectations high is because we know they can do good. We know they can do great. Yeah. We've seen great great figures. And uh, yeah, so you want you want more of that. So there's the, the wave is on the whole. It's it, there's a lot more positive than negative. But yeah, I, I'm I, I'm just I, I'm just disappointed that they could have done a, a lot more. But like you were saying, like like the hits of the wave look great. You know, Death Strike looks great. I can't wait to get her on the shelf. Long uh, long needed upgrade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. They they they, they <laughs> look wonderful. I I love the arcade with the with the, the long hair as well. You know, like like the, the the crazy sort of sort of arcade. I love that you have two different versions of that. Yeah. So I think there's there's so much great stuff there, but uh, yeah, there's just a few a few a few provisos, a few quid pro quos. But what do you think is going to be the next sort of reveal or the next big thing to be announced? Well, they showed the the sword as well, and they did Excalibur at the end. That's right. When I made my preview video, I had no idea what that that was. So I'm like, <laughs> anyone? Conan? What is it? And everyone was like. It's Excalibur, you numpty. I was like, oh, all right. <laughs> but which character do you think it's coming with? Who do you think is going to be holding it? Which version of the wielder? They'll probably do a new Captain Britain, I presume. I'm wondering, because we get in the new X-Men wave that's based on the House of X, Powers of X, I'm wondering whether it's going to be Psylocke in her Cap Great Britain costume. Oh. Could be. Because they've already got the Psylocke head and everything from the recent releases and stuff. It would be an easy one for them to do. Well, guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. That was a bit more random than we expected, but it was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Guys, we'll see you next week for the finale of WandaVision. I'm pretty sure we'll have a full episode to talk about then. But that big reveal will probably have a, be a good topic of conversation. Definitely. But until next time, guys, I'm your host, Super Sorrel. I'm here with Brian's action figures and David Display's model behavior. See you guys. Make sure you like all the channels, and I'll see you guys next week. May the Force be with you. Bye.